Or you guys want to see some fucking bullshit? Watch. John Smith, Globe Lies, a liar. It's all bullshit. I need to just, just, I don't want to do camera. So I've got, I've got a voice. I don't like on camera. Oh. <laughs> Especially when I look this way. Look at this. It's staged. <laughs> you gotta be a fool to believe in this shit. This is fake. It's fake. Okay, look at the fucking bastard on the right. You know, he's sitting there with a smile on his face eating that shit up. Just like one of those fucking uh, astronauts. <laughs> look at this shit. <laughs> A bunch of liars. Congratulations. Can you wipe me off the database? She said she's hacking the NSA. Don't feel me. You what? I hacked the NSA in 2016. I'll shoot behind as well. I've been making my life hell. Oh. Oh. Life hell. I did it myself. I was getting hacked by the old. It's a whistleblower going live on John Smith Globe Live. <laughs> and look at this motherfucker's face. It's all staged. I can't get a lawyer. All communications have been infiltrated. I've had no operating systems, an Apple Mac, a Windows 7 and a Windows 10. My phones are constantly switched off. Um, I've been monitored on Twitter, everything's been intercepted, they're making my life hell. Have you been for an independent, uh, to see an independent psychologist to get an evaluation done? What happens is, is that once you, I went once to a psychologist and I told them what was going on, and then he said, oh you're under the care of a psychiatrist, I says no I'm not, I says that's part of the set up and the plan. Once they've got you in the system they've then? They've got me in the system as a vulnerable person. Let me talk to the camera at the moment. <laughs> Let me talk to the camera. He was looking at that bitch like, don't you fuck this up for me. <laughs> Gillian McDonald was the one that invited me for an interview two years ago where she was presented 
to me is an ordinary constable. It turns out she's one of the high chiefs in the police. She's the one that's been indicted to the Justice Committee at the Parliament to give evidence as to why they want this vulnerable person's database extended to the national force across England and Wales. The Justice Committee don't have a clue about what's going on and neither does the Scottish Government. And that's what's happening to me right now. I've been on the verge of suicide twice, once in March last year, 2017, and over the past two <laughs> weeks. And that's what's happening to me, and I want to go public. I was the hacker behind the Yahoo breach in September 2016, and I've got the forensic evidence to back it up. I was treated like I was deluded, mentally ill, and I wasn't. And it all started from an employment tribunal that I was hacked through by the Open University. I was a whistleblower exposing pension fraud by the university superannuation scheme. I made a report to the series fraud office online, and that's when it all kicked off. This was in June 2016. <laughs> The National Security Agency are using directed energy weapons against whistleblowers, <laughs> dissidents, and it's very, very discreet. Directed uh, energy weapons and <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh shit, man. This shit is fake. It's fake. It's set up, people. I just... This is like um, soap opera kind of shit, man. It's fake as fuck, man. They're deceiving. They're uh, lying and shit like that, man. Undetectable. Hey, where, where is that coming from, do you think? It's coming from in conjunction with British telecoms. British telecommunications have got a secret program called Soul Catcher. It's been running since the early 80s. <laughs> Dr. Robert Duncan is an ex... <laughs> Directed. <laughs> Soul Catcher. <laughs> it's, this shit's a lie, you know. They're not even um, hiding it anymore. Scientist who blew the whistle on all this program years ago. And it's happened to me, and they've been controlling me. They're doing everything they can, and I'm telling the truth. My name is Dr. Carol McKenzie. I'm an urban social scientist, and I've been confined and constrained in getting the communications out. In 2014, I voted no in the independence referendum. This is not political. But if you can't understand that this is fake... Then you're fucked. This shit is fake as fuck. It's a uh, staged. God. Mm. <laughs> uh, people don't fall for this shit. It's uh, all bullshit. <clears throat>